Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're going to make a vase. Believe it or not, the mold that you see here is going to turn into this beautiful faceted vase. We learned this new technique from a domestic course given by Phil Cuttons. We really advise you to go check it out. It's not expensive at all because you will be able to learn how to make the mold and all the preparation that it takes. As a reference, this is the result we want to achieve. Let's start by mixing our composites. In this case, we are using Jasmineite AC100. Now let's pour the composite into our mold and you will be surprised because we won't fill the mold until the top. If we would fill the mold until the top, it would stop being a vase because we want to make sure that it has that opening so we can put some flowers on it. We are going to turn the mold gently, as you see here, so that the walls of the mold are completely coated with the composite jasmineite. You can probably use other types of composites, but from our experience so far, we noticed that if you have a composite that is going to take a very long time to set, then you are going to take a lot of time to, to make this face. You are going to see in other steps of the process, how much time we take and what other steps it needs to, we need to do. Now that the walls are coated, let's go into step two. And step two is rolling like you see here in the video and it needs to be very consistent. It is kind of hard, as you can see here, this was our second try doing a mold like this. So you need to be very consistent and you need to do this about five to 10 minutes because while you're doing this, the jasmineite is setting and it's going to create an even layer, that opening that we talked about so we can put the flowers. Now we are repeating the same process again because if we would only do it once, the walls would be super thin. So pouring and rolling for another five to 10 minutes. Let's do it again, pouring and rolling for another five to 10 minutes. The vase is ready, so let's unmold. Ooh. Way nicer. We are super happy because the first time we tried this mold, one of the sides was way thicker than the other. From our experience, this technique is very complex. It has a lot of preparation, so we really devise, like we said in the beginning, go check out the course on the Massacre by Phil Cuttons. You will learn a lot about the preparation, what can you do different, and these vases are really unique because all the faceted sides that you see will always be different. By the way, this is not an add to the course. We just really enjoy doing this technique and we see all the possibilities that it has. Here it is, the final result. We loved how it turned out. We hope you like it too. You can see here our first vase and how thick one side is. We hope you loved this video and if you liked it, please subscribe or comment. We really want 2023 to bring way more videos on YouTube to show you what we do, to teach you some techniques. So hope you stick around. Bye.